When Elon Musk heard about New York City's proposed anti-pizza regulation, he fired off a tweet, quote, this is utter BS. It won't make a difference to climate change, end quote. Musk is right. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. New York City is getting ready to ban pizzas prepared in traditional coal and wood-fired ovens. The Big Apple's Department of Environmental Protection wants these ovens either to be scrapped or have pizzerias put in filtration systems costing tens of thousands of dollars to comply with the department's arbitrary demand for a 75% cut in emissions. No matter how you slice it, the costs of complying for these small enterprises will either force them to shut down, they don't have the dough to buy and maintain expensive filtration systems, or meaningfully raise prices and hope customers keep coming. Pizza aficionados know that the taste of pies prepared in electric ovens is inferior to those that come out of the wood or coal-fired variety. New York bureaucrats say attacking pizzerias is necessary to save the environment. What a crust! Their emissions argument is preposterous. ClimateDepot.com publisher Mark Morano compared the emissions of a wood-burning stove with those of the private plane of President Biden's climate czar John Kerry. It would take that stove 849 years to match the emissions spewed out each year by Kerry's aircraft. That's right, 849 years. Kerry's plane annually emits well over 100 metric tons of carbon dioxide. Jet-setting, hypocritical, finger-wagging nannies like Kerry and former Vice President Al Gore piously proclaim they offset their carbon footprints through buying carbon credits, where the money goes for research to fight climate change. Nice try, guys you're still spewing out carbon dioxide. This is the green version of medieval indulgences, whereby you would make a contribution to the Catholic Church in exchange for having your sins forgiven and a smoother ride to heaven when you died. What these extreme environmentalists display is an utter lack of common sense and judgment. Power-hungry bureaucrats delight in showing how important they are by walloping things that make life better and more enjoyable. Ban gas stoves. Make sure air conditioners can't actually cool anymore, and that dishwashers take twice as long with a load that they once did and still don't do as good a job of cleaning. What's on display in New York is a tasteless example of modern socialism, where government bureaucrats control businesses not by taking them over, as once old line Marxists thought, but rather by minutely regulating them. Under modern socialism, as these traditional independent pizzerias are learning to their peril, your very existence as an enterprise depends not on satisfying customers, but rather on the whims of arrogant, all-powerful government parasites. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.